Muslim allies have to act. They must act, asking, urging, advising, and strongly objecting is not enough. This isn't enough. Netanyahu and his government did not stop the genocide violence when the International Court of Justice demanded Israel stop killing civilians already three months ago. Netanyahu and his government and his supremacist ministers did not stop when the UN Security Council demanded an immediate ceasefire one month ago. No, Netanyahu has been clear, hostage deal without hostage deal, a ceasefire deal without a ceasefire deal, Netanyahu and his government are going to continue killing Palestinians and invading Rafah. And Israel's allies in the US, in Europe, are still supporting Israel. This cannot continue, my friends. This must end. It must change. And if change will not come from the top, change will come from you. From you. Change will come from the people, from the labor movement, from the student movement. And join me, join me in applauding the students all over the world, in Colombia, and Harvard, and Yale, and all over. Change will come from the workers, from the unions, from you. You give us hope. The students give us hope. The people of South Africa give us hope. Millions upon millions around the world who march every week demanding an end to the genocide give us hope because they and you are not prepared to sit by and watch this mass murder. This mass destruction, this gross injustice before your very eyes. While your governments want you to look elsewhere, no, don't take your eyes off Palestine. Don't take your eyes, let's demand justice, demand action, demand sanctions, demand an arms embargo now. Yeah! Now! If governments will not make a difference, you will make a difference. You will stand up for what is right and you will not be silenced. Let me hear you, my friends. Let me hear your voice. We are, all of us, one people, one people. We walk together, we march together, we struggle together for a free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. And my friends, you did it before. You did it in Vietnam. You did it with apartheid. And you'll do it again. Yes. You'll do it now. Yes. For equality under the law. For accountability. For global justice. For liberation. There are times when we just have to survive. There are times when we want to minimize the murder. But there are times when we have to stand up. Stand up tall. Stand up firm. This is the time to stand up. As one people, yeah. all of us, walk together, united, march together, and tell freedom for Palestine and freedom for all of us. Because as Nelson Mandela said, South Africa's freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestine. All of our freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestine. Yeah. Thank you very much. Salute. for your wonderful speech, inspiring speech, and we will continue going on the marches, marching through London, calling for a permanent ceasefire, calling for an arms embargo to stop the horror of genocide we're seeing every day on our screens in Gaza, in the West Bank, in Jerusalem, and to ensure we don't have a regional war. The war is on the agenda. 
of our imperialist leaders, and it must be stopped. I want to make a couple of announcements. First of all, I'd like to extend our solidarity to the Kashmiri workers who are here with us today. Thank you for being there. You are fighting an important life. Thank you. I also want to extend our Tell you that we've received many day, many day messages from trade union comrades in Oslo, Stockholm, Copenhagen, Helsinki, Berlin, Dublin, Paris, Madrid, Lisbon, Rome, Valletta, Istanbul, Athens, Havana, Sydney, Brussels, New York, Johannesburg, Caracas, and many, many more capital cities. Also, we've got an important May Day message from John McDonald, 